With hate crimes on the rise, Oxygen is exploring how far the country has come with the emotional two-hour special, Uncovered, Killed by Hate. And here to tell us more about it is legal analyst Laura Coates. Laura, thank you so much for joining us this morning. So what I would like to ask you initially to start off is let's talk about the two-hour special in general. What is it all about? Well, this is a really important time in our life. We're 10 years from the anniversary of the Matthew Shepard, James Byrd Jr. Hate Crimes Prevention Act. And it really shows us how far we've come in terms of trying to prosecute um, hate crimes in this country, but also how far we have to go. We look at the wide swath here, not only what happened to Matthew Shepard and James Byrd Jr., it also covers what's happening across the country in places like Portland, where two good Samaritans lost their life coming to the defense of two women of color on a public train who was being harassed and verbally assaulted by a bigot. We look at what happened in California and a young teenage boy, Blaze Bernstein, and what happened to him at the hands of somebody he even knew. And we go across the country again to places like Charlottesville, where Heather Heyer lost her life trying to protest against the rise of white nationalism in this country. And so we look at archival news footage. We interview the survivors, um, the victims' families. We interview people who were eyewitnesses, and we look at essentially what went on at that time, what prompted the act, but also where we are today with the rise of hate crimes and what is being done about it, Hattie. I think that's a really impactful special, and I just wanted to know, like, what kind of dialogue do you think a special like this really kind of opens up? I hope people will look at this special, which is on Oxygen this coming Sunday, and say to themselves, you know what? We think that when you talk about hate in America, we're confined to a particular geographic region. We think we're talking about an era that's, you know, bygone, the Jim Crow era, the Jim Crow South. And we oftentimes are dismissive about where we are today because we want to believe that it's all behind us. But in reality, we're seeing the rise of hate in America, and we need to figure out how to combat it. It once was behind the shield of masks and hoods. Then it became on the rise with social media and anonymous trolling. And now we see it out in the open. And so looking at how in the ways in which people are being emboldened and empowered, and also the way we can combat it by people who are being emboldened and empowered to do something about it. And I hope the dialogue will be about where do we go from here, recognizing that we all really want equality in America, but we can't just do a hashtag for it. We have to know what to do. We have to invoke our, our constitutional principles, look at every branch of government, state, local, and federal, and employ ourselves in our own communities to do better and to weed out hate. And what would you really hope that at the end, the, the overall message that you would want people to pull from, from, from the special? I want people not to be left feeling afraid and anxious and scared about where we are. I want them to have a renewed sense of optimism of what is possible, that communities across this country have united in support to say we reject bigotry and hate and violence against vulnerable communities, and to remind people about the power of collective action, from the Matthew Shepard, James Byrd Act, Hate Crime Prevention Act, to what we are now. We have seen this period in America before, and we can get through it. The rise of hate crimes may be increasing, but we can have a way of stopping it and ensure that everyone has a fair chance to realize the American dream, at the very least, pursue their life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, and not be judged in such a vicious way. And I hope, ultimately, people will realize that love truly does conquer hate. Thank you so much, Laura, for joining us this morning. You can catch this special October 20th at 7 o'clock, and you can catch this segment again on our website, First Coast Living.